Election denial. It's dangerous. It's a threat to democracy. Well, <laughs> it lets Democrats do it because that's totally different. Thanks to our friend Defiant Ells, who is a master at exposing Democrat hypocrisy, we now have one of the more hilarious examples of a Democrat who denies election results when Democrats lose, then suddenly joins her party and the media in fear-mongering about dangerous election deniers just days before the midterm elections. Which I'll get right into, but first give me 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Did you know? Noble Gold's team of precious metals experts have helped thousands of worried investors like you to build and preserve wealth through times like these. Find out why gold, silver, and IRAs are the answer to inflation and financial contagion. Talk to a personal precious metals expert today. Oh, and this month they're gifting a free three ounce silver American virtue coin with every qualified IRA above $20,000. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877 64 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And as always, there's a link in the description or pinned comment. Just remember, there is always a risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results. This is what Democrat Rep. Escamani said about the 2016 election in 2018. Rigged witch hunt? The only thing rigged in this was the 2016 presidential election. I don't know, sounds like both a conspiracy theory and election denial. This is what she had to say a couple months ago. More than one in two Americans will have an election denier on the ballot this fall. This isn't funny. It's dangerous. Democrat conspiracy theories about the 2016 election being rigged totally normal. Have questions about the 2020 elections? Well, that's dangerous and not funny. Except it's hilarious, but it doesn't stop there. Because after this tweet went viral, she actually responded to it. I must be doing something right when conservative accounts start trolling with disinformation memes. Oh my God, are you serious? If you actually go to the tweet, you'll see this where readers added context. I didn't even know this was an option. Is this something that Elon added? But it says right there what we already know, that both tweets contained in the image were in fact tweeted by Rep Escamani with actual links to the original tweets. <laughs> <laughs> so far, this has been so entertaining, but it doesn't stop there. Even as another Florida state representative tells her to just take the L and stop digging, she continues digging. Now, oh, now, dig up, stupid. I have never denied the results of the 2016 election and have always referred to President Trump as president. I don't give a shit. Nobody did. Don't you understand? Nobody cares. I'm not going to allow lies about me to spread, but good to know you're okay with that happening. Bullshit. As I stated just a few moments ago, we have the receipts. And I'd like to add that she called the 2016 election rigged in 2018, which was well into Trump's administration. <laughs> And it gets even better. The other Florida state representative responds with a gif showing a man digging a hole. Seriously? I expected better from legislative colleagues. Are you serious? I'm gonna take a wild guess here and say the citizens of Florida expect better from a representative who's so blatantly lying. But Eskimani isn't the only Democrat election denier getting called out for their hypocrisy. Okay. Thank you, Kareem. Following up on your comment that there's an alarming number of Republicans who are saying they're not going to accept election results, does that mean President Biden thinks it is a threat to democracy if somebody votes Republican? No, that's a, that's a ridiculous question. No. Are you serious? If the Democrats fail, it might be the end of American democracy. I think we're one election away from the end of American democracy. If they take over in 2022, that is the end of democracy and we're going to have authoritarianism. I hope that we can flip this and save democracy. If we can't, I got to, you know, I got to believe that fascism will take over in America and that will be the death of democracy. The potential death of democracy. The death of democracy. The death of democracy. The death of democracy. I think that could be the end of our democracy, not to be too you know, pointed about it. Hillary Clinton said a couple of weeks ago that if he runs and wins, that could be the end of our democracy. Do you share that fear? I do. It's the end of uh, democracy as we know it. That'll be the end of democracy as we know it. It's the end of democracy. That is a recipe for the end of democracy. The country is at risk as long as one of our two major parties is so committed to destroying our democracy. I know there's a lot at stake in these midterm elections, but there's something else at stake. Democracy itself. 
No, that's a that's a ridiculous question. No. It's ridiculous or you're just stalling because you weren't counting on anybody asking you this question. In fact, Biden's chief of staff, Ron Klein, described Biden's speech last night as, quote, one final warning. The president decided a few days ago that it was important to uh, uh, issue one final warning on this issue to make very clear, to leave no doubt, uh, that we have people out there still peddling the big lie. People uh, uh, now raising the issue of election denial in this election. Wait, 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 wait. Is he talking about Joe Biden, who suggested that the midterm elections might not be legitimate? A moment ago, you were asked whether or not you believed that we would have free and fair elections in 2022 if some of these state legislatures reformed their voting protocols. You said that it depends. Uh, do you do you think that they would in any way be illegitimate? Oh, yeah, I think it easily could be, be illegitimate. What's the warning? Is he making some kind of a threat? Or is he saying that if Democrats lose, then democracy is over? Either way, it's not good. No, that's a, that's a ridiculous question. No. Why is that a ridiculous question? Because American people should have their right to vote for whomever they want. The voting is a sacred right. It is something that the president wants to protect at, at, at every turn. And he has done that. He's taken actions to protect the right to vote. And, uh, and you see uh, Democrats in Congress also doing the work to protect the right to vote. Exactly. Thank you for finally admitting the narrative that democracy is over if Democrats lose. It's insanely hypocritical, especially when your main argument for electing Democrats is that your opponents are dangerous election deniers. Don't don't forget who also doesn't accept election results, Karen Jean freaking Pierre, who tweeted out multiple conspiratorial election denying claims. Again, why are none of these people calling themselves reporters ever calling her out on this or at least questioning what makes her a credible authority? If this were a Republican administration making these claims, we all know that these people would be falling over themselves to push back against claims that democracy is over if Republicans don't win. And if the press secretary themselves were election deniers, it would be a constant feeding frenzy. All we can do right now is vote. Ignore all these stories about red waves. There will not be a red wave unless you go vote. So get it done. That's all for now. Please leave a comment to continue the discussion and keep checking back for new content. Thanks a lot.